Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. I'm a fan of Torline strings. You might have seen my caviar review. That's a bit of a softer string than Torline Wasabi, which is a four-sided string, also pretty soft. I would say all the Torline strings I've tested are relatively soft on the arm, so it's something I can recommend if you want a poly that's softer, a little bit more arm friendly, and you don't wanna go all the way to like a multi-filament string. For example, my 66-year-old father, he's using Torline uh, Wasabi in, and Caviar in his Fury Arma Pro 98. They're available in a few different gauges and a few different colors. The pomegranate red, the neon green, and the neon pink. Uh, 1.23 gauge is the one I tested in neon pink. In the neon green one has also 1.25 gauge, but nothing thicker than that. I've tested them in three different rackets, the Wilson Shift 300, the Head Radical Mid Plus Oxetic, and the Fury Arma Pro 98, which I had to give to my father. My tensions hovered around 23 or 24 kilos. These are my reference tensions. So the string is relatively soft, good feel to it. It played a little bit differently, different rackets. I think that's more about the rackets than the actual string. In the Shift, I really enjoyed it. It got really good. A snap back on the string. I felt like the ball wanted to dip in over and over again and the shift is quite a powerful yet spin friendly racket and this is a very much a spin focused string and you feel that the ball it grabs the ball pretty well. In the radical which is maybe more a knock on the radical although this is a racket I like a lot it felt a bit more plasticky I don't know if that's really a word but it's didn't have that bite to the ball didn't really grab the ball which is something that I think most players like that when the ball really pockets in the string bed and you feel like you have the ball kind of on a string like it's in control and uh, it played okay in the radical but i didn't like it as much there might be more the radical which seems to be very very string sensitive the wasabi string was great in the fury armor pro 98 uh, really enjoyed the spin potential got enough control with this setup this is not a stiff poly so you're not gonna get like control like luxlum 4g uh, it's more of us on the softer side, but not all the way to some ultra soft string like Wilson Revolve, where the string really drops in tension quickly. This holds tension about average, I would say. As some poly strings, when they're too soft, they it just go like spaghetti too quickly and it, you can't play with them. This one is not one of those. I preferred it in the shift over the radical. The radical didn't quite work well, and it's quite a string sense, the racket. The, but the Arma Pro 98, it was excellent. So really a nice string, uh, there's a lot of fans of this string around there, I I've seen it on the forums, seen it from other reviewers, uh, it's, it's simply a good string and I I'm not sure if I like Caviar or Wasabi the most, Caviar is a bit softer in my experience, but it has this very nice pocketing, not quite the same pocketing from Wasabi as with Caviar, although Caviar is a little bit more lively as well, so it's a bit more energy in the string bed with caviar and uh, so in the wrong racket it can be a bit too much i also feel like caviar maybe drops tension a bit faster while wasabi holds it a bit better that would be my my comparison in between these two strings this is definitely a string that can work for advanced players also intermediate players like my father so i feel like it has a, a broad audience so the only issue i would say is if you're in europe and i know many of you listen from outside the states obviously uh, it's a bit tougher to get a hold of. You, you can buy it from the website. I don't know if there's any shipping issues there or costs that are extra. So that's a bit of a shame. I wish it would be available from Tennis Warehouse Europe or other retailers, but I haven't seen it as of yet. So another great string from Toraline. It will go into my recommended strings in the Road to the Right Racket. That's an ebook website with videos where you can learn more about rackets and strings. I always have my string recommendations there. I will keep updating that list. There will be some more content coming as well, so uh, check it out. There will be a link in the description to the website, The Road to the Right Racket. I know many of you struggle with your racket setups and so on. There's also a consultation service on tennisnerd.net. That is all for now. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.